Hey there. It is June 22nd. No, it's 23rd, uh, 2021. I thought we had killed this peach tree. We pruned it back so much. But hey, it is looking really good. Really good. And then our blueberries have been a little stressed. So even though we planted in mulch, and typically we don't have to water stuff planted in mulch, uh, we're starting to put, we're going to start watering these every day just to make sure that's three blueberry plants got some little ones trying to come up down there but this is what I wanted to show you look at these zucchini isn't that crazy I have never seen happier zucchini I mean these plants are huge I don't know if you can tell from the video but Maybe you can see me, I don't know. It's up to my hips. Yeah, up to my hips. And they are happy, happy, happy. But, uh, and we don't water up here either. Uh, the mulch holds all the moisture in and they do really good. We'll check it and make sure, but I know last year when we planted with mulch, our tomatoes, we never had to water them or the zucchini. And, um... But to be fair, the, the soil it's planted in, the soil that's underneath this mulch, is, has been enriched with sheep manure, aged sheep manure, over time. And uh, we've worked it hard. This down here doesn't have the same soil. It doesn't have the sheep manure, because we kind of expanded it. So you can tell the difference between this plant and all these others. And then our... Okra is starting to get a little bit bigger. Okra, okra, elderberry. Okra, okra, elderberry. They're mixed in. Next year we won't plant anything between the elderberry because they're going to start looking like this. This is our second year elderberry. So last year we planted it. Or maybe it was the it was the year before, I guess. Maybe this is the second full year. Uh, no, I want to say this is only the second year, because I think we planted them from cuttings. Well, I know we did. We planted them from cuttings, but I think it was last year, last spring. I could be wrong, but I think so. And uh, they're just going like gangbusters, and they like the mulch too. Again, we don't need to water. So, uh, once we get this system set up with the conveyor belt in between... This conveyor belt has got tarp underneath it so that no weeds will ever grow through for, well, not for a very, very long time. And then the conveyor belt's all the way up to the edge here. And there's conveyor belt between. And then mulch on top of that to keep the moisture and keep it cool. There's a zucchini. We've already eaten one, but uh, there's some, there's several growing there if you can see them. Fun, fun. I love it. we got watermelons going. We've got uh, spaghetti squash in another bed. And watermelons and tomatoes. And I'll show you that another time. We thought that we had lost our... Well, we did. We lost two beehives over the winter. I think it was too cold. And when I opened up the beehive, uh, both of them, they were just all dead. And there was not a lick of honey in there, not a drop. And so I think with the extreme cold, they just ate all their honey stores in order to keep themselves warm and just went as long as they could and it wasn't long enough. But our big bee colony, it survived. And, uh, but it swarmed on us. It, you know, I noticed there wasn't nearly as many bees coming in and out of it. And so um, we went back to our swarm trap towards the woods and sure enough, there were bees coming in and out of it. So thankfully, we caught the swarm. They went into our bee our bee trap, which is like a small hive up on a tree. And we brought it down here and put it in one of our free beehives that was lost over the winter. And so we were able to catch them. So, so far, that's worked out good. Um, and next winter, we'll know better than to just let it get cold and stay cold and not do anything about it. We'd put sugar patties in there. But um, I guess it got too hard and crystallized 
so that they couldn't, you know, eat it. I saw, I found some of the bees dead in the sugar patty, actually trying to roll up balls of it, and they were dead. So they might have frozen because it got really cold. But either way, I felt really bad. So next year, if it gets like that, we're just going to get them and put them in the garage for a week or two until it warms up a bit. So live and learn. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this. I thought you might like to see it. And we'll talk to you later.